Look at how many I got. Nine dollars. That's it. time changed so it's super dark outside but it's only like seven o'clock we had a great day but we do have some explaining to do we are on a book buying ban and we have stuck with it we know we were going a little crazy with the shopping videos last month for the most part we've done really well we haven't been to any bookstores we haven't just gone book shopping however one of our local libraries does have a monthly book sale and i mean we're talking like one dollar a book one dollar books right so is it really messing with our book buying ban technically yes we were just trying to reduce our spendings for like the amount of shopping we do and i feel like one dollar books are they don't count yeah they don't count we were in the same area as another discount bookstore so we decided to go to both they were both really nice all of that aside what we're basically saying is we've got a bunch of books and we're gonna show you guys what they are <laughs> at the library book sale i was surprised to see this one this one was like off to the side it wasn't even with all the other books but it's the martian by andy weir we still haven't read project Hail Mary but I promise we'll get to it eventually. I knew when I saw this book, it was just something that I had to have. And then when I looked on Goodreads, it has such good reviews. Mm -hmm. Should I read this before Project Hail Mary? Honestly, maybe. This one I'm pretty sure is like a sci-fi thriller. And I haven't got into sci-fi yet, but I always like sci-fi movies. Yeah, I think you'll like it. I haven't read it and I'm like, you're, you'll, you'll like yeah. it, don't worry. Well, it was $1, so I don't feel bad about buying it. I stand behind this purchase. I've got a ton <laughs> of books, okay? I, I got a bunch. And I only ended up paying like nine dollars for all of them. So the first one I have here is Morning Star by Pierce Brown. This I believe is a third book in this trilogy, and I do own Red Rising. This is one of my most anticipated series for next year, so I can't wait to start it. But I saw they had Morning Star, and I had to get it one dollar. The spine is a little bit messed up, but a dollar it's worth a dollar the next one i found is truly devious i do own this in hardcover but you guys know i'm a paperback girly this is a ya mystery thriller and i do tend to like those so i am very interested in reading this one it's a good one to read i think you'll like it yeah and don't get on us for getting another copy like i promise you guys this library sale was going quick yeah there was a line outside and when we got in people had ikea bags they weren't even reading the covers they were people just were just throwing them in the box so we were like rushing to find anything we knew like i promise no one else was trying to get this one specifically they had the people with the scanners trying to see if they can resell them i was like can i look at the titles first like we had oh to move gosh. fast they had a little classic section and i actually got two because you guys know i've been wanting to read more classics and these are two that i've been wanting we have the penguin classic edition of frankenstein so i'm excited for oh I'm like, can we even show this cover? I don't need to give you a summary. You know what it's about. But I've heard that this is like one of the better ones. I mean, all classics are classics for a reason. But I'm excited for that one. And then I found this hardcover of Fahrenheit 451. I've been wanting to reread this since we got out of school. Because this was one of our required ones. But that was back before I even was absorbing what I was reading. So I'm excited to reread it. And I do love this hardcover. I did find The Santa Suit by Mary Kay Andrews. I know Mary Kay Andrews is so loved. <laughs> this is a perfect one for Christmas. Tis the season for holiday cheer and small town secrets it sounds good whether it it's a mystery good. or whatever and i love hallmark movies so just to sit down and like read a cute little hallmark book <laughs> why not you guys know i love ya contemporary novels and this is one i've actually been wanting for years this one is it's kind of a funny story by ned vizzini and i love this movie adaptation this has zach alabanakis emma roberts it's such a good movie i grew up watching so i am so excited to read the book you can't even see the cover here we go i mean i've been waiting to get this one so the fact that i saw it there i immediately grabbed it just a contemporary story about a kid it deals with mental health and all of that so i love these books i can't wait to read the book that the movie is based on here are the the two most random books you will ever see this one i'm not even gonna lie to you purely based on the cover but it's beautiful hold on let me show you 
Look at this cover, you guys. I'm obsessed with the older movies. A Rattling Good Mystery. I think this is a sequel of the book, <laughs> but I don't mind just jumping into the story. Yeah, this was a cover buy, but I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It's gonna be a little short mystery, and I am gonna read it, and I'm gonna let you guys know how it is. <laughs> and then the last one I got is this hardcover Audrey, A Life in Pictures. I'm just excited to, to flip through this. Oh, I'm just obsessed with Audrey Hepburn. It's like another one of those coffee table books, but I saw it there. I had to pick it up. I think it was only like a dollar. 50 or two dollars wow okay so now we're gonna show you what we got at the bargain bookstore so i did get unwinds by neil schusterman now i'm just gonna want to read all the neil schusterman books i know you really liked this one and when you were talking about this one i was really intrigued all i've read is Scythe so far but i really do like his writing and now i want to read more of his series and i want roxy as soon as i see roxy anywhere i'm getting it <laughs> i got heartless by marissa mayer meyer let me know in the comments i have not yet read the lunar chronicles but i do have the first two books in that series so i want to read that first but i had to pick this one up it was only five dollars and when we saw the inside so pretty it's gorgeous i had to pick it up even when we were checking out the cashier said they were surprised no one else had bought this one yet and i was like me too <laughs> i'm getting it today such a pretty cover yeah. i'm glad we opened it up yeah i inside. wouldn't have yeah you're welcome you were um, like let's see the inside <laughs> i found lovely war by julie berry i just think the cover is so beautiful every time i see it on goodreads i'm always like what is this about a sweeping multi-layered romance set in the days of world war one and two where gods hold the fates in the hearts of four mortals in their hands okay it said 475 so i was sold here's what i'm real excited about that's what i'm most excited about too for the real star of the show we have my blind bag this says ya general fiction trade paperback five dollars you guys for seven books my heart list was five dollars mm -hmm. so i felt like this was a great deal even if i don't get any that i know i'm gonna read them so we're gonna open Ooh, it up together i'm kind of so excited i'm nervous i hope there's some good ones in here i don't want to like destroy the bag oh i hope there's some good like Christmas. It is. They they take this up good. They said y'all aren't seeing what's in it until you buy it. Alright. It's gonna be the most random books. Zoe Dean's talent. Okay. Okay. Go off, Zoe Dean. It says you either have it or you don't. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? It's just like a got talent type of story. That's cute. Okay, we have Tall Cool, an A-list novel by Zoe Dean. Is this the same author? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have a whole bunch of Zoe Dean. The A-list. If you have to ask, you'll never be <laughs> tell you what this is about we have what if all the rumors were true a choose your destiny novel <laughs> why are you laughing already already you're laughing new year new choices this fall gossip is spreading like wildfire at this high school i'm not gonna read any of these it's worth the five dollars these are all going to the little libraries <laughs> it sure is i don't know what that one's about but it's cute let me show you the cover Maybe if somebody's like, that one's so good. Yeah, let me know if you have heard of any of these and read them. Okay, we have another What If All the Boys Wanted You. You know what? I think these are books I would have liked as a, yeah, like, when I was younger. Definitely. Like, I would have been on this. I was a non-blonde cheerleader. Same. I mean, yeah, right? And I'm like, how was that? Brunette Strike Back, another cheerleading one. <laughs> Cute. And then we have a Lauren Conrad Sweet Little Lies, an LA candy novel. When racy photos of Jane are leaked to the press, she becomes the center of tabloid scandals. It sounds like Gossip Girl. Okay, Lauren Conrad. There you go. I mean, $5 though for seven books. I'm not going to get over it. That Our, was fun for five It bucks. was fun. Are most of them? Am I going to donate most of them? Yes. For sure but that's okay. Our little light just died, so that's a sign we need to wrap it up. Overall, we had a great day today. Don't worry, you guys. We are on our book buying ban still. Just use books don't count. They you know? don't. And this was like a monthly event, so we're gonna let us off the hook for now. Keep an eye out for the video that's gonna be posted on Friday. We're gonna be reading the books you guys chose for us over on Instagram, so we're really excited for that. We love the books that won. So that is going to be it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today. Comment down below and let us know if you have read any of these books as always we do post new videos every wednesday and friday so if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time so now what
How are you doing that? Yours was already lower enough. What do you mean? Look how tall I am. Look how we match now, dude. What are you talking about? How are we matching now? Before we were not matching. I was literally like this. Look, now we're matching. That is not matching. We have a look. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Lauren Conrad book. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I was like, did it just die? So that is going to be it for today's video. <gasps> it's dying. Oh my god.